living saint. That was how many people regarded Mother Teresa of Calcutta when she was alive. She had already been a sister of Loreto for 20 years in 1948 when she answered the call within the call to leave their convent and to live with and among the poor. Sister Teresa underwent medical training and then sought out the poor and the sick in the streets of Calcutta, India. Soon, a handful of young women joined her in teaching the children, in begging for food for the poor, and in caring for the sick. With the approval of the Holy See, the Missionaries of Charity was founded in 1950. Mother Teresa used to describe the call within the call. The congregation attracted vocations and benefactors, which led to the establishment of schools for street children, hospices, soup kitchens, and homes for orphans and the homeless through the years. Their missionary work that used to be present only in Calcutta has reached many parts of the world. Talk about the ripple effect. But as many people emulated and lauded Mother Teresa for being a joyful and zealous missionary for the poorest of the poor, she experienced emptiness for a long time. She felt that the one she followed to the slums to love and serve abandoned her. She suffered much because of this, but we marvel at her faithfulness to him. Yes, to the suffering of being abandoned by God on the cross. Mother Teresa's spiritual desert reminds us of the same experience of St. Therese of Lisieux. Their love for God enabled them to keep on saying yes to him and his call. Pope Francis canonized her a saint in 2016, and during his visit to her hometown, he said, May St. Teresa of Calcutta inspire in us to keep on loving God and those whom He loves, even in our own suffering. St. Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. <music>